What's the motherfucking deal, Sauce Nation? It's your boy Ed Honcho, aka at the real Ed Honcho on Instagram and Twitter, and this is a Sauce Sports special. If you don't know what Sauce Sports is, Sauce Sports is a Houston Homer channel. So we talking Astros, Rockets, Texan, Dynamo, Dash. We talking about the Cougs. We talking about the Isles. We talking about TSU. We talking about PV. If it's H Town related. And we're going to put a little bit of flavor on it, you know what I'm talking about? And that's what Soft Sports is. And you can catch me with the Houston-only Soft Sports takes on Twitter, Soft Sports HTX. But anyway, we are inside NRG today, and you know what that means. That means that we're talking about the Texans. So I know a lot of y'all been been inquiring, been asking. You know, we're going to go ahead and get the first thing out the way that, you know, people have been talking about the most. And... <clears throat> It was something that I, I had uh, in, in prior years. I was kind of on the train, but right now uh, I'm shying away from. I'm not saying necessarily shying away from uh, or against, but everybody's talking about the, the safety situation and will Kareem Jackson play safety? Uh, in prior years, I, I thought so. Last year, I thought it would be a good idea. Um, you know, we had some depth. You know, you know, you got you still have JJ, you have KJ, you had AJ. You had a bunch of J's, and, you know, uh, uh, Kareem Jackson's another KJ. So, any bunch of J's, oh, God, damn. Uh, anyway, <laughs> all them AJ's and KJ's and J, whatever. Anyway, on the, uh, in the in, you know, in, uh, it's in the secondary. So, you know, the cornerbacks, you know, there was a lot of talent there. You know what I'm saying? There, there's still significant talent, but we're talking about a lack of experience. So, with that lack of experience, it kind of makes me worry about that position if we were to take Kareem and, you know, throw him into the safety situation. Now, I heard, the, I read somewhere, I think a couple of days ago, I'm not sure, that he was getting some practice in. But, like I say, that the thing about that that bothers me the most would be, um, you know, like I say, you're taking away a lot of experience at corner and you're putting it, you know, in safety. But then again, you know, that experience may translate because, you know, uh, people been thinking, you know, we, we want the Legion of Boom back there. But, like, you know, I think Texans fans think we've been the, the Legion of Bust or the Legion of something, but not 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 booming, you know. But we've had some guys come through here. We've seen some little flash of talent. Like, you know, the other day, uh, yesterday, I was talking about, you know, the homegrown defense. And I think that that's what's going to happen. Um, who is that? Aaron Williams came in. Uh, we'll get on that later. But <clears throat> I think that – I think that we are uh, in our corner situation. We're solid, you know, but that's that's another another topic. But we have some guys that I think will be groomed. Um, the 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 problem is they've been hampered by injury, and so <clears throat> if it wasn't for some of these injuries, I think that we would have had our guy or maybe you know uh, someone who, who who was a little bit more solid. Uh, like I say, we had the uh, Dylan last year. He ended up uh, with the injury. We, you know, had didn't really get a a full chance to see what what he could develop into. Still a rookie, so you know, we'll see what happens with him this year. Uh, will he he will he see a a, a, a leap? Actually, he didn't get to see enough, I don't think. So, you know, that, that that second year in a system, they always come in much more comfortable. So, let's you know, let's let's not let's not worry about. It. I, don't, I don't. I'm not going to worry about the uh, the safety situation too much. As far as far as saying, I mean, of course, you want to be concerned if you know you just. You're getting beat back there, but um, I'm just saying that as far as what we got, the pressure and the thing, I think that there's going to be a lot of play, a lot of hurries, a lot of things that are going to make it a little bit easier, you know. Uh, and I think we have some guys that are on the roster, if they can stay healthy, that will be solid pieces. But like I see, let's see what KJ comes in. Uh, he's six foot, 200, that's solid size. Um, <clears throat> so he can hit. You know, that's a good thing about him. Um, like I say, as just far as let, let's just see what he can do full season and, uh, you know, follow through with that. Now, I know another guy a lot of people have been asking about, I'm a fan of, but like I say, again, injuries have been hampering his ability to, to see some time on the field. That boy LB, the whole Lonnie B, you know what I'm saying, all Lottie Ballot time, but <clears> – <throat> That's the kind of guy, that's that 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 prototypical body type that you want. Tall guy, 6'3", two and some change, some, you know, different accounts, 215 here, 225, 230 here, whatever. Uh, but solid size, big big guy, can hit, can play. Um, was Mr. Irrelevant 
But now, uh, amongst Texans fans who are concerned about, you know, some holes, some possible holes, like I say, what you have is outside media, you know, people who do not really pay attention to what the Texans are doing, and they're going to have biases, and they're going to have opinions. And I, I seriously, you know, just a side note, this has, has nothing to do with it. I seriously think sometimes that's just because the name is the Texans, you know, you got a lot of outsiders that hate on Texas. You know, they got they got state envy. You know, they're jealous of Texas. But, you know, that's not that's not for my people out there in Sauce Nation, you know, who may be elsewhere representing the Texans, you know, because they, they can see through that. We know we know they got the eyes to see through that. But it's a lot of people, I think, who just don't rock with the Texans because of the name. But that has nothing to do with anything. But um, like I'm saying, back to the guys on this roster, I think that Lonnie B., He's one to watch. But like I said, you just, just need him to stay healthy. Um, a lot of guys, like I said, a lot of people are, are outside the uh, <clears throat> the media talking about Texas and don't really know what they're talking about. They focus on too much. So they, they discredit us. But um, we have to – we gotta we got to think about, like I say, that we've seen flashes from some of these guys, you know um, – and then, and then none of the guys have just been so horrendous. I don't. I don't feel like they're just so horrendous that they're they're not serviceable players. You know what I mean? We've just we've had little holes here and there on occasion, like I say, but we still managed to be the statistically that number one defense. So if they were that bad as as one um, who they said some NFL executive, I forgot. You know, anonymous sources, all that fucking bullshit. I, I hate that shit too. Uh, shit don't fucking make sense. Anonymous source. You can just say anyway. Well, I got an anonymous. I don't fuck that. That that I don't, I don't I don't see how that passes these days. You know, as as you know, for general, you an anonymous source. Who the fuck said it? You know, say put a name on that shit. Put an address on that shit. But anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, I, you know, like I say, that 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 kills me. But uh, oh, buddy, and he was talking about some NFL executive said that the Texans have the worst secondary in you know the league. Uh, or the worst safeties, I want to say, in the league. Something like the worst safeties in the league. I, I don't think he said secondary. I think he said safeties. Um, but, you know, like I say, put a name on that shit, man. Just because you don't know the names back there, maybe you might, might not be familiar with them. You know, I don't think that – I don't necessarily think that's the case. Um, <clears throat> you know, who is it? Bedems Bounce. And, and that's always a weird thing. You know, he's, he's always back and forth. I don't know how that goes. You know, um, another guy a lot of people are talking about, Sit similar situation, like we're saying, with injuries, certain things going on, not seeing time. Uh, Curtis Drummond. Now, I'm hearing a lot of good things about him camp. You know, people saying it's the name to watch. So, uh, solid guy, 6'1", a little bit taller than uh, KJ. Now, <clears throat> like I say, see what he uh, see what he got going on. You know, just to give him a chance. I want to say uh, make some plays. I just want to see – <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, you know, we got a lot of guys out here, and they're like you said, I'm just, I'm just looking at some of the some of the guys we got, and you know, I, I can see why people say, you know, that we got issues back there, but I, I mean, I'm just, I, I'm going over it, but I don't think that I, I, I think people are making a bigger deal out of the safety situation that is, you know, we just want to have, I think we want to have a piece in that position similar to, to everywhere else. We have we have good like I say on our line we have solid star quality players on our in our in our linebackers we have solid star quality players. In our secondary and our well, cornerbacks we have some solid star quality but we just don't have a, a big name safety or a, or a, a guy like that back there. And I think that's what more so people are people are worried or are making a big deal about. I don't know, I'm just I'm just I mean that's just what I'm thinking about. But anyway, like I say, you know, Eddie Pleasant, we got uh, Malik Smith. I think he was a, a UDFA. I don't, I don't know about him. Uh, I saw a little bit about him. I wasn't Im- impressed. Eddie Pleasant's always, to me, he's been okay. I don't think he's just horrendous. Maybe because I'm biased because, you know, Eddie. I don't know. That could be a thing. How? Uh, I mean, like I say, I'm looking at these guys as to not as to not go too long. Because, like I said, I'm trying to, you know, keep the sauce congestible. And I'm, I'm, I'm doing a little bit more than I want to. But, I think we're making a <clears throat> a bigger deal than what it is, and I think that the guy that we're out there hoping and 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 and, and, and looking for, he's already on the roster. Just like we're saying about that that homegrown talent, I think we just have some guys back there who haven't had the time 
and that will start to come. These guys, the, the cream will rise as, you know, the camps go on and things, you know, uh, take place and the coaches get to see who's really working with what. I think that somebody's going to really surprise us this year. I don't know who. Like I said, I'm going to have to look into it a little bit more and, and just see what the talk is. But I think somebody's going to surprise us. And it's not going to be the Kareem Jackson that saves the thing. That's not, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, it maybe it might have been a little experiment just to see how it worked, but I, I don't. I don't think that's going to happen unless I mean, uh, barring something. I, I don't know, but well, like I said, we'll get further into it because I want to talk about maybe he wasn't going to make it out because we got a, we got a few numbers of who wasn't going to make it. But like I said, I'm getting a little bit longer too, so we may have to continue this into another one. But like I said, I'm your boy Ed Hancho, <laughs> Sauce Nation. Hey, uh, we're going to get back on this. We're going to have to have a part two. We'll talk some more about it. Because I'm thinking about a lot of things that I, I wasn't able to get on. But we're going to have some more sauce on the safety. Safety sauce. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, I'm your boy Ed Honcho. Like I said, you can catch me at Sauce Sports HTX on Twitter. You can catch me at The Real Ed Honcho on Instagram and uh, <laughs> Twitter also. Like I said, you can check out SauceSports.com. Not yet. A couple of days. Everything will be up. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We appreciate it. If you like what I'm talking about, subscribe to the channel. And uh, like I said, we're going to put some more safety sauce on it because I'm just thinking about some things that, like I said, I don't want to take this way further than it is. Like I said, we got we to gotta keep the sauce short and sweet, you know what I'm saying, with the, to have the right flavor. But anyway, with that being said, I'm your boy, Hunter, so do sub Sauce Nation. Y'all be cool, you know what I'm saying? I see y'all. Hey, do South. I'm up. <laughs> I'm out.